Hello Scorpio people, welcome to your energy reading for the week of the 12th of September. As you know, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates and drop the rest. Okay, so just like you to know that um, if you prefer a personalized reading, you can always get the information down below in the description box and you can book a private session. So let's see what's up for you this week, Scorpio. And three of crystals, three of crystals. Okay, this this is um, in a child tar tarot deck, so it's slightly different from the traditional decks. Uh, three of crystals in this situation is about you coming to a point where you are really needed to um, understand yourself in body, mind, and spirit because when you are not balanced in body, mind and spirit, then you find yourself you know, off balance or doing things that are not good for you or in alignment with what is appropriate for you. And I feel that the energies for you in the upcoming week, um, it's really about you making choices and also you know, laying your cards out, right? literally laying your cards out like asking yourself okay i have this this and that so what do i choose what is right for me because what is right for someone else may not be right for you so you need to really understand yourself right go into that um working with um you know yeah completely about body mind and spirit that, that's a very strong uh, energy coming through and what is also important for you is to be grounded and connected with earth because crystal energy represents earth energy so earthing is needed so it seems as if um, the Scorp for Scorpio people it seems as if you are living in your emotional body and not so much in your physical body or not so much and not balancing that with your mental frame of mind so it's a little bit off balance at the moment um, so you need to get back right so the the um, you know, the trinity within yourself, right? Body, mind and spirit needs to be uh, much more aligned so that you uh, feel more in the present and in the now moment, okay? And that can help, you know, on so many levels in whatever challenges you're facing in life, whether it is an emotional challenge, mental challenge or even a physical challenge, okay? So let's see what your next card is. Guard Guardian of Swords. So it's time to face the truth. Right, this is a truth card. Um, Guardian of Swords, the energy of Guardian of Swords is about someone who guards the truth. And this energy is coming in and telling you that there is, you know, you need to confront the truth about yourself, about situation. Honesty is important, authenticity is important. And um, so it's a week of truth bearing. So, um, The message also for you is also that um, not to be afraid of the truth. There is some fear inside your heart that you are afraid of the truth, afraid of facing the truth. It's important that you face the truth with courage, right? Now, if you look at this, there is a uh, armor. So that's, you know, strength, that's courage. Face the truth with courage and you will be fine. You know, you are protected. You just need to be able to face that confront that and then move on okay so i feel this has a lot to do with your physical reality your physical life you know how you're living your life how um, it could be your lifestyle it could be choices you make even in the workspace you have been avoiding truth for a long time and so it is time to face the truth so that you can um, really deal with and work with you know the issues that have come up in the past few weeks or past few months okay let's see what the next card is for you the big bad wolf right now um, this is the shadow side of self coming up so the shadow self is still trying to hide right and so this is asking you that there's a there's a part of light in front of you and you need to allow yourself to shine light into the shadow part of self. Remember what I said about truth from this card? So this card supports this and it's talking about you coming out from behind, move into the light and allow 
light to shine in the shadow parts of self so that you can look at yourself with honesty, authenticity, right? Scorpio, um, sometimes, you know, the, the um, I mean, this is general, right? I'm just speaking in general of Scorpio energy, um, have been known to uh, meander around truths, right? Meander around uh, reality, um, avoiding certain things. So this is not the time to do that because it will not serve your greater purpose to avoid truths. So confrontation of the shadow self is important. If you wish to resolve situations, if you wish to resolve whatever challenges you're facing in your life, whether it is physical, emotional, or mental. Okay, it's a very powerful card, this one, right? The Big Bad Wolf. It's talking about, you know, your shadow energies that needs to come up. And if you suppress it, it's going to cause you more problems, more pain, um, whether it's physical, emotional, or mental. Okay, so use that, you know, inspiration to work through the shadow parts of self. Okay, Guardian of Crystals. So Guardian of Crystals is about healing. It's a time for healing. Uh, for you, this particular energy is, you know, about surrendering and allow healing to take place and basically trust. Um, there is a need to trust, to let go a little bit and not try to control situations or people. The more you try to control situations or try to control people, the less you will benefit from it. So this is... a you know, this card encourages you to surrender a lot more and surrender to the moment where you allow full healing to take place, whether it is about healing of situations or healing of relationships or healing of self. Okay, let's see what the next card is for you. The Earth Child, right? The Earth Child. This is a major arcana card. So inner child healing is needed. You're going through um, major changes coming up. So you, you do need to relook what are your priorities in life right now. And so, you know, it's almost like you are, you are uh, gestating, right? You are still in your mother's womb or you are, you know, still cooking, so to speak. And so perfect time to do shadow work. All right, perfect time to surrender and heal from this particular card so that you can allow the rebirthing to take place. Now, rebirthing doesn't mean that you need to die to rebirth, right? So the rebirthing is also about, you know, completing one cycle of your journey and entering a new cycle. Rebirthing is also about welcoming big change. I feel for you, Scorpio, that huge changes are coming into your life. Um, so welcome that, right? Changes can sound scary, but it doesn't have to be. Changes can be very positive, changes can be very good for you because it really, you know, it can really open you up to more opportunities, um, to more growth, you know. It's like making, uh, taking a leap forward to a greater development, okay. Now let's see what your last card says for you this coming week. Sleeping Beauty. Okay, sleeping beauty. So you've got in in your in your spread, you've got this is the third major arcana card. Right? So sleeping beauty, if you think about the story of sleeping beauty, what does it mean, right? So people fell into illusion and like for a hundred years. And so this is about waking up to the illusion. So you might want to ask yourself, contemplate, ask yourself, what kind of illusion have I been feeding myself? What kind of illusion have I have I been believing around me in my in my surrounding in my society in my neighborhood? You know what kind of illusion have I bought into, and now I'm suffering from it. All right, it's time to wake up. So Sleeping Beauty is you know the story of Sleeping Beauty basically is about you know waking up, and when you wake up, you will see things differently. You will um, be more empowered. Right now, of course, you know, in, in the fairy tale, uh, Sleeping Beauty was awakened by the, the prince, right? The prince that came um, to give her a kiss. Now, this, in terms of our consciousness, is the masculine side of ourselves waking us up, right? Sleeping Beauty is a feminine side, sleeping, right? Um, 
fell into illusion and so the masculine side of you is waking you up allow that to to surface so that you become a more balanced being we become more balanced when we're balanced between our yin and yang our masculine and our feminine and that is happening for you scorpio okay now let's see what we get from this particular deck for you we want an inspiring message for scorpio here for us today and it says look at the bigger picture look at a big this is you know confirmation of what we have said right so look at the bigger picture look at things change perspective it will really i mean with the change of mindset i feel you can get out of the hole get out of this this um, cave that you have built for yourself that is blocking you from seeing things as they are all right so look at the big picture now let's get an inspiring word from this deck for scorpio so Scorpio, if you like this message so far, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. New location. Alright, so new location. So new location can be an actual physical new location uh, that you are going into. Uh, a new location could be a new space within your own heart. You know, like where are you? Because you see yourself differently from all the changes that you're going to make through healing. Where are you going to place um, yourself? You know, how do you see yourself in the grand scheme of things? And also, how do you see yourself in your, um, perhaps in your social circle? You know, where do you locate yourself? Um, you may be feeling a little bit of dislocation at the moment, right? Within your being, you feel like you don't fit in anywhere. You don't know where you belong. So, go through all the changes that are necessary. Confront the shadow parts of self, right? The big black wolf. And you will find that when you awaken, right? No more sleeping beauty. Wake up from the illusion. You will find yourself and you will have a new location internally, right? So, it could be inner or outer location, right? It doesn't matter. Um, so, Scorpio, I hope that this message has served you well and I wish you a wonderful week and I will see you again next week. Bye for now.